Hi, this is Murph. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, configuring M Collective on um, Puppet open source Puppet version uh, and an agent as well. So M Collective is something that uh, basically comes up, it's easy to install on if you have the Puppet Enterprise Edition, but if you are using Puppet open source edition, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, come pre-installed. So uh, there is a module on the on the Puppet Forge that you can use to get it installed uh, easily. And that is if you go to the forge.puppetlabs.com, go to this URL, and you look for M Collective, and you should find something called Puppet Labs slash M Collective module. Okay. Once you go there, you can just install it using this command. So I, I did it already. I'm just going to show you what I did. Um, make this uh, screen a little bigger. much bigger now so the first thing you want to do is say I have this puppet uh, master configured already it opens this puppet um, so what I did is basically I just uh, ran this first it's puppet module install puppet labs dash m collective so once I install ran this I have a connection to the internet the server has to have connection to the internet or if you download the module like the tar file and you can just you know install it uh, manually uh, but for internet connection, it should be okay. So once I do that, um, so this is my Puppet Master. I want to install M Collective on the same uh, server. Uh, so I just did uh, etc puppet manifest and site pp. Just as basic uh, testing. Uh, so I have this, uh, this segment here. So uh, this is the Puppet Master node, right? And it has a middleware true. Okay, so it's going to be a server. And the client also should also act as a client, and the middleware host is this itself, so which is the Puppet Master local, which is this machine here, right? So if this machine, that's where my uh, Puppet Master. So once I did that, right? Once I uh, installed the module and I configured this uh, this uh, segment here, which is explained here, it's very easy actually. So um, all I did is basically I combined these and then also added a client option. Under the same model, so that I can also test the client on the same uh, Puppet Master. Uh, did that, and once I did that, I did Puppet Agent dot test, and that basically did all like install M Collective and configured it uh, automatically. So that's pretty uh, pretty easy actually. And so as you see here, let me go back. So here you see I did Puppet Agent dot T. That basically they uh, run a Puppet run, first Puppet run, so that it went through all these options automatically. And once I did that, right, I could did MCO ping and it pinged my puppet master.local, right? So now let's try on a node, okay? So I have this puppet node here, which is uh, which is this one. It's like a node, uh, client node, which is a Red Hat CentOS best. Uh, so it's just right now it doesn't have any M collect or anything configured. So I'm just going to configure this right now. Just doing a puppet run. So it's not going to install at this stage, just running a puppet run, just to test. Nothing configured yet. Uh, so you know that. Because there's a DNS configured, so it's just. Uh, uh, there's some error. That should be a problem. Should be a problem. Yeah, let's see. Uh, puppet. So let's uh, define this uh, test node here. Say. Okay, we're gonna do this. It will be a client, and the middleware host will be this. Uh. So now, let's do a puppet run. It's 
just gonna apply the configuration now. There it goes, configuring uh, M Collective. There you go, done. So now, if I do a chat config list, you see that there's an M Collective uh, configure. So if I do MCO ping, I should see node one now, right? So that's pretty handy. So uh, this is how you can you can use M Collective. And with M Collective, you can you can run kind of orchestrate a, a chain of uh, configuration commands. Say you wanna apply something, run a command to a group of uh, puppet nodes, uh, then uh, M Collective uh, can be used. Um, if you go to the Puppet Forge, uh, puppetlabs.com, right? If I search in Google. It comes a Puppet Labs M Collective page. So you can you can learn more about M Collective, what it does, and what can it do, right? Uh, and there is a, a screencast as we were getting started. So you can it can do a lot of things. Uh, you know, ping command will basically test the connectivity of the nodes, uh, and quite a lot of things that you can do actually, right? Um, but configuring it by hand is, is not easy actually on an open source version. So here you go. Um, enjoy the video. If you like it, just click on like or subscribe to the video for future videos. Thank you.